Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Pace Studios. We are here live with Milk. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Yeah, it's a pleasure. I'm stoked. So you've got three songs uh, mm -hmm. to play today. One of them is uh, is brand new. You've got the got the video for this dropping tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the first one you're going to play? Yeah, this first song is called Oh My My, What a Life, and parentheses, What a Life. And um, it's a, probably one of my um, more joyful songs, like more like up front, you can feel the joy. Um, where some of my other songs, they um, like battle harder topics, but they're still like this under kind of this subtle or joy. This one's a little more um, upfront, and I uh, I wrote it because of all the different um, communities of people that started opening up to me after one of my songs, Quiet, went viral after um, the Women's March, and um, I I started feeling this feeling that I'm really not alone, and because my career and my whole life changed, my relationship with my family also healed, and I just never had been that happy ever, and I didn't know that that was possible. So the the song is kind of a little humorous, and it's a side of me that my friends see and um, people who are close to me, um, and I never really inserted that into my music until this this song that I'm um, going to share with you. So it's, it's, it's a fun one because I, I'm kind of jealous of rap, and rappers kind of just say what they want to say and they can talk about all these different things. Um, and I was like, well, why don't I just try to have that same type of mentality? I'm not rapping, but I'm trying to minimize the space between what I think and the microphone and just saying what it is as simply as possible. So that's this song. Cool. Well, good for you for finding something that was fun and therapeutic and all of that all wrapped up into, into one thing. I'm glad yeah, that you did you. find that and write it. Sounded great in soundcheck, so we're looking forward to, uh, to hearing it. Awesome. Thought I'd be 50 and still alone Chain smoking cigarettes at a bar Talking shit about my married friends To my single friends Thought I'd still be angry at my mom Move 2,000 miles away Live in sin, waste my education out of spite But could this be real? Could this be real? Could I be falling in love? Could I be growing If I was happy, I'd lose my edge and not have anything deep to say I thought I'd end up selling my songs to shiny pop stars with millions of followers Cause who would want to see someone like me singing about me? In hotel lobbies So the, the background with that part, the hotel lobbies, is because like two years ago, I was singing in hotel lobbies and singing Jason Mraz covers and, you know, trying to just please the passerbys. And then cut to just a few months ago, I was opening for Jason Mraz, which is a really cool juxtaposition because, you know, we can think that life is going to just not be that great. Um, but lo and behold, we're at Pace Studios, which I read as a kid and I like loved it. I discovered Ray LaMontagne on here, so props. So it's like a full circle AF moment. So life can be pretty beautiful. Oh my, my, I could cry, cry. Standing 
freedom. What a life, what a life, what a life, what a life. What a life, what a life. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my, my, I could cry, cry, cry. No, I've never been this happy in my life. Oh my, my, I could cry, cry, cry. No, I've never been this happy in my life. Took a little bravery, took a little soul searching, took a little questioning. Oh my, my, I could cry, cry, cry. No, I've never been this happy in my life. Nice. Hey. Thanks. That sounded great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for playing. Yeah, it's very interesting how you've been able to, I mean, as autobiographical as that song is, it's still, it's, it hasn't crossed the line into being, uh, um, what am I trying to say here? There yeah. are those tunes where autobiography doesn't necessarily serve the song the best. Right. And it like takes away from the experience. Yeah. And what you've managed to do in that song is, is amazing. I mean, it's, it's as autobiographical as it gets, but <laughs> comes across in such a great way. It's just a really oh, thanks. Good that song means a lot. Yeah. In. Yeah. There's like the, this art of, um, getting really specific and that can still specificity can be super universal and, uh, maybe sometimes we can hit it. So hopefully that, that is the case with this song. So thanks. Yeah, well, it definitely is for me. So thank you for playing. Yeah, thanks. Um, so you got three to play today, mm -hmm. and uh, can you tell us a little bit about the second song that you're going to play? Um, so it is going to be Father's Day on Sunday, right? And I'm not going to see my dad, um, so I'm going to send him this link. <laughs> and um, my dad and I didn't really get along or understand each other. I mean, he loved me, of course, and he was there. Um, he worked really hard for our family, um, but I think he was kind of confused about me because I was a little more artistic and emotional, and he didn't operate that way. So I always thought I was really different from my dad, um, but through the journey of like trailblazing as a Chinese-American musician and learning how difficult it is to not have that path for, my, for me, I watched my dad, how he immigrated from China, and he trailblazed for himself. And so I think him and I are starting, he and I are starting to like see that similarities and we're starting to get closer, which is really special for me because um, I love him very dearly. So um, this song is called Best Way You Know How and it's for my dad. I know I drove you crazy when I cried in public places and talked back. I said things I didn't mean You knew I was different But you could not embrace it all It was a battle just to be me It's crazy how you can know me Better than anyone And still not really know me at all You've been loving me the best way you know You've been loving me the best way you know You've been loving me the best way you know how I see it now You've been loving me the best way you know You've been loving me the best way you know You've been loving me the best way you know how I see it Much faster than me. Mm -hmm. Love lost in translation between generations. I don't call enough, and even. 
even when we talk you're still so hard to reach it's crazy how i can know you better than anyone and still Sounds great. Thank you. Yeah, and another one where the the real specificity of your experience is. I mean, that, that applies oh, to cool. I'm sure you know a, a thanks, lot of people thanks, that are out Brad. there listening to this. Um, thank you. Um, so you're taking this on the road for at least one date that I know about. I know you're going to be in uh, in Milwaukee for Summerfest later on this summer. Yeah. Um, yes. And uh, Milk Music. It's M I L C K Music dot com for mm-hmm. uh, for tour dates as as the rest of them become announced. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, uh, again, we're live at the Pace Studios with Milk right now. Thank you again for being here. Yeah. Um, and there's a third song. You're going to play one more song for us today. Can you tell us about the last song you're going to play? Yeah. So this last song is um, probably the song that um, is the the vessel for why I'm even here um, in Pace Studios uh, and where I'm at in my journey. Um, it's called Quiet. And um, I wrote this song at the end of 2015, and it was my own thesis. And I didn't release it until um, the end of 2016 and at the Women's March. Um, and it's my own song uh, to help me get out that, like, I don't know, sometimes when we have something we need to say, but we don't know how to say it and it's too painful, becomes this like lump in our throat. And um, I think if we don't find a way to let that tension out of us, it can break us. And so for me, I was like, if I don't get this song out of me, I'm going to go crazy. So I tried to write this feeling um, down on paper and it took me years because I didn't have the tools yet to really say what I needed to say. Um, and basically I wanted to like write a song that's this like gentle middle finger towards like all the, a loving middle finger towards all the moments where I felt oppressed or silenced or stereotyped or just like not acknowledged. Um, and so this was my, no, I'm not a typical demure stereotype that you see. I am, um, a strong woman with a mind that I want to share the things that are on my mind as well. And, um, and so, yeah, this is what came out. Smile 
I could do that But no one knows me No one ever If I don't say something If I just lie still Would I be that monster scared Thank you. We are at the Pace Studios Thank with Milk. You. Thank you so much for coming by and playing a really personal collection of songs. Um, if you, the internet, enjoyed what you heard, which, judging from the comments, everybody is stoked on what they're hearing awesome. right now. Um, you can ch- catch her in Milwaukee at Summerfest this summer. Check back at Milk Music. That's M-I-L-C-K music.com um, as more tour dates are announced. And you've got the video for Oh My My, parentheses, What a Life. <laughs> drop in tomorrow so yes, uh, stay I'm tuned stoked. for that everybody yeah. and thanks really, thanks again yeah. for coming by and playing cool thank you